is a close-up of the, uh, the tray itself. As I mentioned, there's, there's several different experiments here, and you're looking at, uh, in the center, those dark things are the bolts themselves. Uh, the center one is which they were having a problem with. Okay, if we could get the, uh, the next picture, please. Uh, this is the impulse experiment. Again, it's, uh, it's similar to a, an experiment currently on the station in the Columbus area called uh, Plague Pay. Um, it's designed to uh, uh, investigate the ionosphere disturbances in the plasma around the station and help characterize the, what plasma does to uh, the environment around station. Um, it also will be going out on that tool caddy, the Kepa'u, as I mentioned, and it will also be installed on the other side of this universal accommodation platform. Uh, you can kind of see a picture of that in the top right. Uh, you'll see the accommodation platform. The orange box is exposed R. On the other side of that is where the impulse experiment will go. Okay, let's talk about the, uh, if we could have the next slide, please. Um, one of, this is actually considered a get-ahead task uh, on a previous EVA. Uh, this is a, what we call a witness plate, or it's a, a, a little panel that's out there to uh, collect just environmental uh, debris on impacts and other things like that. Um, evidently, it was knocked out of place uh, slightly, and so what they want the crew to do, if there's time available, is to go out a little aft on the uh, service module and reorient it in the correct position. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, the, the other one I mentioned was the bio-risk. Um, a while ago, there was a, a series of three canisters flown up. They were installed uh, to the left of the uh, EVA hatch on the piers docking compartment. And uh, we've removed one of those already and brought it down for uh, investigation. This EVA will remove the middle and what we call the second of the three bio-risk canisters it will also be brought down. <coughs> uh, let's see. And I think that's it for that. Um, if we could get the next video. This is a picture of the uh, recent progress docking to the DC Nader. You'll see some straps floating around out there. Two most prominent and a little one on the left. We call these aramide straps. Uh, these, these were originally uh, fasteners that were uh, installed as part of a cover for the uh, docking compartment Nader antenna, docking antenna. It's been used for a long time. These fasteners have somehow come loose, and as you saw, they, they're floating around a little bit, and the, the Russian team would like to just get them out of the way once and for all. So uh, we'll have a task uh, on the way back in at the end of the EVA to uh, cut the straps, put them in a trash bag, and bring them back inside. Okay, if we could get the next picture, please. Um, also mentioned, one of the tasks, uh, just kind of a cleanup from a previous EVA, we noticed that a uh, previous crew had gone in on the, uh, the PEHO, or the, uh, the docking compartment uh, interface with the uh, service module, had done some work behind a, a connector patch panel, had removed this MLI flap, and uh, somehow it's become unaffixed, so the crew's just gonna go back and fasten it back down. Okay. And the, uh, the final thing that we, we had talked about is just kind of a, a general, not really an experiment, but more of a uh, panoramic view. They're going to take out some uh, digital cameras and at their convenience at different points along the way, take pictures around the space station of the Russian segment in its current configuration. Um, recently, the, uh, the Russian team has asked if the crew could take some pictures of that uh, Coors antenna uh, that gave us a little trouble deploying right after launch on a, for the pro recent progress. But uh, they'll be snapping photos in, their, in time between uh, translating from one location to the other. Uh, at this time, uh, we've had our, our EVA team has put together as a training aid for the crew a, a kind of a digital walkthrough, a video of, of what their tasks are going to be to help with understanding translation paths. And, and it also is a great aid to help us understand the nature of, of all the tasks we're asking the crew to do. So at this time, uh, let's have that next video. And I'll kind of walk you through exactly where the crew's going to go and where they'll end up being. Okay, as I mentioned, the crew